hello viewers uh, today i'm going to show you a uh, woocommerce product upload uh, uh, in the previous uh, tutorial i have shown you uh, how to uh, set up a woocommerce store uh, by importing uh, themes uh, so mat for theme now i'm going to show you how to uh, upload product in woocommerce woocommerce store this is the sheet that i have uh, made for my personal use okay now i'm going to uh, login into my website uh, I have logged into my domain subdomain actually uh, where I have been working for this tutorial so uh, in the from the dashboard uh, here uh, we uh, we are seeing uh, products function so from here we can uh, upload our uh, add new our products at uh, category uh, tags brands and attribute attributes so from the category options from the category option we have to uh, add some categories before adding uh, some categories we have to delete all these uh, pre-installed or default categories from the themes so I'm going to deleting all the categories from here Uh, I have to try again okay go I'm going to reload the page to see what happened oh Sixteen item deleted. They are not deleting at a time all the categories. So I have to try. I need to try again and again. Uh, yeah, now all the categories have been uh, successfully deleted. So uh, I can now uh, add some category from here, uh, like men's collection. Uh, slug I don't need to use any slug because uh, slug uh, slug is the um, uh, name that will show uh, when I visit the product uh, like uh, like my subdomain uh, right slash and the product name automatically it will show this automatically uh, in this slug in this slug option here this is the slug option in this slug, slug option here uh, the name uh, given name category name will show here so i don't i i'm not going to use and it's lucky i will leave it blank so uh, parent category none description uh, i'm going to leave it now so uh, we have the function we have the ability to use any thumbnail uh, banner uh, so i'm going to leave it uh, leave it them now so add new category yes man's collection category uh, added already here now i'm going to add another category women's collection so by clicking add new category yeah women's collection added so now I'm going to add another category uh, like mobile uh, accessories from here then add new so this is how we can add category now i'm going to show how to add sub category and uh, sub category uh, uh, you have to, uh, for adding sub category uh, the process is uh, like uh, is uh, about similar very similar uh, so i'm going to add man's shirt i'm giving the sub category name Men's shirt. I'm, I'm going to, and then I have to select the pan category. From uh, pan category will be the main category, like men's collection. So this uh, category will go under the men's collection, and it will be the sub category of men's collection. So I'm leaving blank all the other uh, field. I add new. Yeah, M uh, under the men collection. 
here we can see a hyphen or a dash which indicates that it is a subcategory of this category so men's uh, collection now i can also add another category like women's chart i'm going to add this category i'm going to change the parent category to women's collection um, uh, and i'm going to click add new category so so women's chart has been added so this is how we can uh, create uh, category and subcategory uh, from here uh, you will see creating category uh, that category as steps creating sub category steps now we are going to show you how to <coughs> create tags uh, for products so uh, from dashboard uh, go to products and select tags so i'm going to from dashboard i'm going to the products and from products you have to select tags So now I have selected that tax uh, option, but <coughs> in default here are many uh, selected tax. So I'm going to delete all the pre-selected tax by clicking apply. Okay, uh, the I have to delete some uh, few more times. category are deleting yeah now they are gone so i have deleted uh, the text so i can uh, create a text from here uh, like like a man's man's shot click at new shot So this tag will help uh, in the uh, search results. So men's shirt, women's shirt. So I have yet uh, created only three category, uh, three uh, tags from here. Then I'm going to uh, create. Uh, brand a uh, brand's name for my product so uh, so we are now we are going to the Amazon site from site we are going to search men's shirt yes under armors men's shirt so this is the brand brand name under armor so yeah i have uh, picked the brand name from that product so now i'm clicking brands from this option okay uh, uh, here already we can see many brands created adidas I'm Crest, Apple, Asus, Baxter, Casio, Glasky. So now I'm clicking all the default brands from here because we can create our own brands from here. So all the brands are deleted. So I'm creating new brand and add new brand. Yeah. So this is how we can create many brand from here. So. Uh, then our so we have created a, a brand from here then now uh, we are going to show you the main purpose of this tutorial product upload so we can upload a product uh, like a single product or a very vari uh, variable products so first I'm going to show you how to upload a single product mm, from dashboard uh, we have to go to products and select add new so from dashboard we have to go to products and select add new
now uh, this is the product creating page so we can create the product details upload picture everything can be done from uh, this space so uh, from dashboard first select add new then uh, we have to give a product name uh, write a product description and details also you can uh, check it uh, here by pausing the video uh, as to uh, these uh, steps you can uh, create your products by following this uh, all these uh, steps it will be easy uh, easier for you so now I'm going to create the product name uh, the product name is so this is the product name I am giving a product short description from here product description this is our product description then our product details I am called uh, ok so this is our product description and product details uh, now we uh, uh, for single product uh, we have to uh, our product data will be simple product data uh, here are many other options but we are not going to use them now uh, so we have to use uh, choose a regular price for our product so I am going to ch uh, choose the price of the product the price of the product is uh, uh, this is a variable product so we are not going to use the price of that product we are going to use a uh, price of our one we're going to use 300 then a sell price 250 so 50 uh, 50 uh, is a discount and the sell quant quantity uh, we are going to sell 100 product we have already sold 20 product inventory SQ SQ uh, stock keeping unit uh, it will uh, be used uh, to indicating uh, to identifying for uh, each product so we are going to use uh, a stock a stock keeping unit SKU armor uh, armor um, um, 01 like this we can uh, check a uh, minus stock but we are not going to check the minus stock for this uh, stock quantity back orders don't allow for getting email notification at a specific part st stock give the number uh, give the number on low stock threshold so we are going to uh, from the general uh, inventory ok uh, manage stock uh, we have clicked the manage uh, stock, uh, stock quantity, allow, allow back orders, don't allow, uh, low uh, stock threshold, I am going to use 5, when my products um, uh, down to 5 only, then uh, it will uh, send me an uh, email notification uh, for the low product, uh, low uh, stock, shipping, uh, we are going to uh, see the shipping method later in a uh, next tutorial or another tutorial uh, attributes so so uh, for this uh, I'm going to leave the shipping option as we will see different way for this I'm going to leave all other fits give the product short description in the bill section so I'm going to give the product short description from here so our product short, short description will be this is the uh, product short description so we are going to use this description here uh, for a uh, feature description will be a uh, product description okay so now we have to go uh, to the right side choose the product uh, we have to choose the product categories or add new categories by clicking plus admin so we are going to choose the product category from here uh, product category we can choose the product this is the men's collection and uh, category and this is the men's shirt ca sub category 
so we have to so we can also get a uh, new category by clicking this so for our tags we can search the tags that we have created so it is searching our tags man shot so this is the category so going to add I have added two categories for my product. So our product brand name is uh, Under Armour brand. So we're going to select the uh, brand from here. Uh, product image. So we have to use this image. This is our product image. So I'm going to take the screenshot from here. this is our product image so now I'm going to upload the product image this is the picture so I'm uploading the picture ok set product image so it will load load yeah it loaded the picture or uh, we can also uh, use a product video uh, for, uh, so I'm going to uh, leave that and we have we can use uh, some gallery product gallery gallery like like this this is a product gallery so we are going to uh, take some few screenshots So we are going to add upload this three picture. Yes, it's done. Now I'm going to add to gallery. Yes. So uh, we have uh, created a product description all the functions uh, how to how I want to show the product in my page now I'm going to publish it so now I'm clicking the publish option from here so it is loading so my product will be published very soon yeah yes my product is published now so we can view the product by clicking view product option from here so a uh, loading yes this is our product 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 image this is the uh, all other image gallery image that I have I have used here so this is our product name this is our brand name and i'm sh we are seeing the product price this is the regular price and uh, this is the discount price so 70 70 percent discount a stock out of x stock uh, we haven't give a, we haven't give by a stock uh, in the description we have to update the stock product stock inventory as to quantity we have to give 100 now I'm going to update the product let's see what happened ah, this is a uh, hundred in stock so out of stock has been changed to 100 stock so so this is how we can upload a single product 
from product option so <coughs> next i'm going to show you how to uh, upload uh, variable products for uploading variable uh, variable products uh, we have to add attributives uh, for our product so now i'm going to close this and i'm going to the attributive attributes option under products so here are some attrib attributes so so now i'm going to delete all the uh, all the pre-made attribute attributes from here So I'm now I'm going to add some attributes here like size color so I'm going to co add color first uh, this is the name of our first attribute color so I'm going to leave uh, other options and going to add attributes yeah color added now I'm going to add another attribute which is size so yeah. So uh, now uh, we have to add the attributive items from here by clicking the configure terms. So I'm going to clicking the configure terms. This is the name of our attributes. Okay. Uh, so our attributes name was color. Now we are going to add some color name, color item like black. Okay. We see the color item like black green and blue so black yes black added green and blue So I have added the attributes, three attributes in the color. So I'm going back to the attributes. Now I have to choose the size. So I'm going to click configure terms. So now I'm going to is give some size like a small. like a small medium large excel size and double extra large size so we have uh, we have uh, added our attributes now what we have to do so after adding uh, attributes we have to uh, choose uh, variable uh, we have to go now choose our product data type variable so from a simple product data symbol from we are we are going to uh, click add new a product we are going to add another product like variable product so 
going to add this going to change this like open chat so I'm changing Uh, so this is a long slip no iron but comment shot so this is our product name we are going to use our product description this is our product description this is our product details so from a simple uh, data uh, we are going to uh, give the product regular price like 500 taka or dollar our uh, sale price going to be uh, going to be 400 <coughs> so uh, or we, are, we can change it from here now we can change the product data to variable product so we are giving to uh, name uh, sq for our product so we can use the sq as ku will be uh, the chops woman so we are going to add the sq chops woman 01 going to add manage stock so we can use the manage stock okay uh, so this is the option from uh, from attributive option variable product uh, okay from uh, this is our sq name so we're not going to enable this we, we are going to the attributes option from our attributes uh, we are going to choose our color attributes and clicking add and then i'm going to uh, select all the colors and going to save the attributes but but i haven't done in a thing that I need should do we have to uh, check this uh, used for variations so for all the attributes then I'm going to add another attributes which is size so I'm going to add the size <laughs> attributes I have to uh, select the, all the items and I'm going to um, check this also used for variations and I'm going to save this yes I have added two attributes for my product now we have to go variation from variations we have to click the drop dot button besides add variation uh, and we have to select create variations from all attributes and hit the button go we have to go to variations uh, from variations we have to click the drop down button and create variations from all attributes and select go and it will uh, start creating some variations from the attributes so it is loading 15 variations added okay okay so all the variation created automatically black l black m black s black xl the black double axis so we can we can uh, give the details for black l so we have to we can click we can take image for the black this is black so we have to upload the image ah. 
I have uploaded the block image. We can give a SQ name like uh, we can give the SQ name like Chaps Women. Chaps Women Black. Now we have to give the sales price uh, like 300. So our regular price, we have to check our regular price. What was our regular price? 500. So the variable product. Okay, we have added our. Uh, it is not adding our price. We have to check our regular price. We have it. We have to add the regular price. It's five hundred. Our sale price will be five hundred or one hundred fifty. So, uh, going to add black medium for black medium. <coughs> we can use the same image for black medium. SQ will be black M. Okay, our regular prices price will be the our sell price so I'm going to another color like blue large so I'm going to add the SQ like blue L now regular price will be 250 for the blue color and we have to going to take an image for for a blue color Now I'm selecting the blue class shot. So yes, I have added the everything for blue. So this is uh, how we can add variable products. So uh, we have to do something else. The our product is uh, product category will be women's collection, women's shirt. Uh, product tax will be woman woman shirt at brand we have to add a new brand a brand name is Woman. Okay, going to add this. Okay, our product image, our product main image will be this image. So I'm going to add set the product image by uploading that image okay what image has been uploaded uh, then we have to add some gallery image by clicking all this image for gallery product gallery image
they have video product video we can also add this video in our product yes this is our product video so we have found a product video so you can add a video url here and our gallery image we are going to upload the product gallery image from here yes so let's publish it and see what happens it is loading So let's see the view the product. This is the product. The product name, brand, gallery image. So we can choose the color. We can click choose and color so black L this is the photo for black L we can choose blue and blue L so color changes automatically so this is how we can add the variable products so so we have uh, so we have uh, added uh, variable products in the next tutorial i will show you how to um, add shipping method in uh, the uh, woocommerce uh, e-commerce site so that's for today bye bye